Want to have some fun? In our new video, we've prepared a collection of awesome tricks and mind-blowing illusions. Find out the secrets behind some of the coolest magic tricks and become a real magician in the eyes of your friends. The world is full of magic. Do you have any doubts? Place a coin and a glass on the table. Cover the glass with a cloth and place it on top of the coin. Evanesco! The coin is gone. This is some Hogwarts level magic. Cover the glass again and lift it up a bit. The coin has suddenly reappeared. Intrigued? We'll tell you the secret behind this magical disappearance. Get a sheet of paper. Cut out a hole the size of the glass. Glue the sheet of paper to the glass. Now you know where all that money disappears. And we'll tell you where to actually get the money. One, two, three. The coins are coming out of nowhere. Could I get one of those plates? Of course. We couldn't do that without some preparation first. Get two plates and glue a paper pocket to the bottom of each one. Place a coin in each of the plates. The only thing is that it takes a bit of training to get it just right. Bibbidi, bobbidi, boo. This easy trick is great for beginner magicians. The knot gets untied inside a towel roll? What is this? Is this the power of will? Nope, it's the power of the magic hole. Cut out a small circle in the roll. Through that hole, you should be able to hold the string with your finger. Keep it a secret. Under which of the cones is the paper ball? What about now? Where does it keep disappearing? For this trick, you'll need two cardboard semicircles. Make cones out of them with the help of some glue. The secret is to slightly press on the walls of the cone. Gently squeeze the cone and the paper ball will be sucked inside. A simple but fun trick. Here's another simple trick. Pop balloons with a single touch. All you need is an orange peel. Rub it in into your finger and go on to impress your friends. The orange peel contains a substance that can dissolve rubber in seconds. That's why the balloons immediately pop. The bulb lights up right in your hands, without any wires or anything. How is that possible? To be the Lord of Light, you must first be the Lord of the Ring. We will need an opaque light bulb. Carefully take off the base using a knife and some pliers. We'll also need a metal base from an old incandescent light bulb. We will attach it to the opaque light bulb. Some additional supplies, two 3-volt batteries, an LED, and a couple of wires. We'll use a hot glue gun instead of a soldering iron. Connect everything as shown in the picture. Tape the two batteries together. Glue the long end of the LED to the positive plus side. Connect the other end of the LED to the side of the base with a wire. Connect the negative minus side of the battery to the bottom of the base with another wire. Put the base on the light bulb. Press the ring against the wall and the bottom of the base. This way we close the circuit and the LED shines right in our hands. A great way to impress your friends. Do you remember that childish trick with the vanishing finger? Well, you just didn't have a magic ring back then. Now it just got real. Put on the ring. Ah! Where's my finger? Give it back! Oh, thank God! It's back! Want to try out this trick? Get a piece of black EVA foam and cut off a slice. Put the ring next to it. Hold the prop between the thumb and the index finger. Done! Remember that the illusionist must wear black clothes in order for the trick to work. For the next trick, we will need the help of physics. Fill up a bottle with water and place a tennis ball on top. Turn the bottle upside down. Don't worry, you won't wet your feet. Because of the pressure difference, the ball stays firmly in place, even if we give it a little turn. A magic glass that changes the suit of the card? But how does it work? We'll need two playing cards of the same order, but different suit. Join them together by applying some double-sided tape to their top parts. When placing down the glass, hold the edge of the outer card with your fingers. The eight of hearts folds back and the viewer sees the eights of clubs. A bit of practice and you can go show off your magic skills to the public. 
some playing cards, and some money. That's what we're going to need for our next trick. Wrap a dollar bill around a card, folding its edges on both sides. Turn the card face down and unfold the edges of the bill. The card ends up inside the bill. It looks like it's about to tear apart, but the bill stays intact. How? Cut the card in half. Tape one half to the back of the main card. This secret pocket is what allows the card to freely move inside the bill. Amazing! And for our next trick, we will need two glasses and a dollar banknote. Turn the glasses upside down, fold the dollar bill lengthwise in half, and put it on top of the glasses. Then, tell your friend to push one of the glasses without moving the banknote. Of course, he's going to fail. Let's demonstrate our financial wits by sneaking a coin on top of the end of the bill. Voila! The bill stays in place, some sleight of hand, and just a teeny bit of swindle. What a fun little trick! The props for our next trick are pretty straightforward. A banknote, a sheet of paper, and a pencil. Place the banknote inside the sheet of paper. Then, take the pencil and pierce the bill. At this point, we would ask the sensitive members of the audience to look away. But wait, no need for that. The pencil went through the bill and left it intact. The sheet of paper wasn't that lucky, though. You do understand that this trick needs some preparation in advance. With a sharp blade, Carefully make a cut in the bill so that the pencil can go through it. That's it. No one will even notice it. A cup of coffee and a glass of smoke? Please. What? Yes, we want to teach you a new trick and show you how to make liquid smoke. Wrap some matches along with a pencil and some foil. You should get a kind of a tube. Take out the pencil and pinch one end of the tube. Place the prop inside a glass and light on fire the side with the match heads. The smoke pours out like liquid to the bottom of the glass and stays there. You could keep watching it forever. It's very beautiful. You can also make some cool smoke rings with this smoke. Cut a plastic bottle in half. Cut off the wide part of a balloon and put it on the half of the bottle with the neck. You should end up with a cool instrument for making smoke rings. Whoever makes the most smoke rings wins. Don't let go of the balloon, it'll deflate. Wait, what? Here's the secret, we'll need a small ball. Place it inside the balloon and start inflating it. Turn the balloon neck down so that our plug securely closes the hole. And that's the whole trick. No one will figure it out unless you tell them yourself. In the next bit, We'll show you how to make a pendulum candle. Pierce the candle in the middle with a red-hot needle. On the bottom of the candle, clean the wick from any wax. Position the candle between two glasses and light both ends at the same time. The wax melts and drips from one end, making it lighter, and then does the same for the other end. A perpetual motion machine. Praise the magic! But always remember about fire safety. What do we have here? An ordinary matchbox? What's inside? Unsurprisingly, matches! Wait a minute, where did this coin come from? Place the coin between the box and the moving part. The coin will fall inside as soon as the box is closed. Open it again. Isn't it wonderful? Don't take away the matches just yet. We've got a few more tricks up our sleeve. Take a match and light it up. Blow explicitly on the box and the match goes out. Do it one more time, and again, the match goes out by itself. The trick is to snap your fingers just at the right moment on the match head to make the flame go out. Make a lot of noise while blowing to distract the audience. If the previous trick didn't work, we've got a trick that works every time. Take five matches out of the box and crack each of them in the middle. Position them in a star formation and put a drop of water in the center. The star slowly opens up. The secret is that the water droplets lift up the ends of the matches and they will slowly drift apart. We are going to need a plastic bottle for our next trick. Show the audience that the bottle is empty. Hit the bottle with your palm and suddenly a bottle cap appears inside. Where did it come from? Take off the sticker and make an opening like a small door in the side of the bottle. Get the cap and attach it inside the bottle with some double-sided tape. Put the sticker back on. Now, the cap will just fall down, if you give it a good hit. Leave a comment and tell us which trick you found the most fun. 
Was it the liquid smoke, the magic light bulb, or maybe the card trick? Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to Trim Trim Select. Press the bell icon and stay up to date with our new releases.